Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in this video I am talking about the throttling calorimeters. So just you can see the figure such kind of calorimeter it is used for finding a dryness fractions or you can say of the steam having a very low portion of the wet particles or you can say it should be highly dryness fraction is available so such kind of instrument is only used for the measurement of the highly dryness fractions so just you can see over here it will be the pressure P1 is taken from the mainstream lines over here so by the throttling process calorimeter the steam is passes through the throttle valve so controlling that where with the help of the pressure gauge it should be measuring the pressure of the main streamlines and from that just you can see over there passing through the P2 pressure the pressure of the main stream is measured with the help of pressure gauge before the throttling process while the U manometer is read over here the pressure of the steam after the throttling so for that the thermometer reads over here the steam after the throttling process so after this throttling process steams becoming superheated because of the exchanging of the heat so just you can see the steam part so from here it will be the main streams so by the controlling of the throttling valve it will passing of that particular and here it will be the filling with the water particles and here it will be the thermometer so it will be indicating the temperature in degree centigrade and here it will be the manometers so just you can see with the help of this kind of arrangement of the throttling calorimeters so here that particular steam it will be converting into superheated steam now important part for a throttling kind of calorimeters the calculation of a dryness fractions so here the P1 it will be equal to the pressure of the steam before the throttling process so that will be the initial conditions P2 pressure of the steam after the throttling process as we already discussed in previous theories or lectures x it will be representing as a dryness fraction of a steam but in this case it will be having a highly dry steam is being considered so hfg that will be equal to the enthalpy of the evaporation at p1 and hg2 so enthalpy of a saturated steam at p2 so after the throttling process that steam it will be converting into saturated steam so hw so that should be indicating the height of the manometer cps specific heat of superheated steam t saturated so saturated temperature at p2 t superheated that will be indicating as a temperature of superheated temperature after a throttling process and here HF1 and HF2 that will be representing as the enthalpy of the water before and after the throttling process. So for the calculation of the such kind of dryness fraction with the help of throttling calorimeters, so comparison on the basis of the enthalpy before the throttling process and enthalpy after the throttling process. So for here, this you can see hf1 plus x h f g1 that should be equal to h f2 plus h x h f g2 plus c p of superheated and T superheated minus T saturated. So just you can see over here HF1 plus X 
H F G one. So here it will be representing as a superheated. So H G two after the throttling process plus C P of steam because of the completely converting into the steam. But in which temperature difference it will be the superheated or you can say. Minus saturated. So you can also say that it will be the degree of superheat. So finally, what you get for measurement of the dryness fraction x that will be H G two plus C P of steam into T superheated minus T saturated minus H F one. Divided by H F G one, so that will be the equations for the measurements of a dryness fraction with the help of throttle calorimeter, and generally that will be only applicable for highly dry steam. so the limitations of this kind of calorimeters is only suitable for measurement of the high level of dryness fractions and after the throttling of the steams must be at least a dry saturated steam so if you like it if you understand then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you